guys and welcome back to another train simulator video. Good morning driver, you are in charge of a short London Overground service from Wilton Junction to London Newson. Open the doors to let passengers board the train. Then prepare for departure. Okay then, let's open the doors. So we're doing a 604 Wilton Junction to London Newson service. Starting on platform 2 at Wilton Junction which is a platform that doesn't get used much as the main ones are obviously platform 1 and platform 3. Cab. Um, if we can find the lights, that would be helpful. Um, I think it's up there, I think, but it's kind of hard to see. I think that's the safe day running, so. And those lights look good. We've got the destination set as usual, so that's all fine. And the doors open, so we just have to wait for our departure time. But yeah, we're starting on platform 2 at Wilson Junction, a platform that does not get used much because it basically doesn't, I guess. There is one service that comes on platform 2, which comes from Woodgrange Park, using the class 171 or 172 turbo stuff, which goes from Woodgrange Park, which is on the Goblin Line, all the way down to Wilson Junction, to platform 2. So it comes from the Goblin Line to the North London Line and then down to, I guess, to the Waffle DC Line, which is obviously here. I have done that scenario already. If you guys want to check that out, pretty cool uh, scenario to do using the uh, Turbo Star all around service. It looks like we don't have to wait for any trains coming into to platform one and three so we should be good to go now we do have a red signal so I'm gonna assume that we're waiting for a train nope. it does change the green which is good because we we'll have to reach Kensal Green at 6.06 so we don't have too much time to get there Part platform 2. So we're going to be calling it Kensal Green, um, Queen's Park, Kilburn High Road, Southampton, and London Euston. I'm not too sure if this service is a real life service. Now it would kind of make sense if it were to be a real life service because, especially during peak times, it gets quite busy when you travel the train to, uh, towards London Euston. So, uh, it would be nice to have an extra train that just runs from Wilton Junction to Euston. You might be able to get a seat on the train. Now, I normally get the London Northwest Railway service in Euston, so I don't care too much about what you call it. Taking this train. I believe we are taking a five car train, yes we are. As we join up alongside the West Coast Main Line, often we see some Pendolinos, some 350s, some 319s. As we head into the tunnel. And since we're going in the tunnel, we might as well go into this view. See how our passengers are doing, so if I can quickly show you on the map, it's a bit difficult to see there, unfortunately. It actually looks kind of cool in the tunnel. Quite a laggy, only down. Well, we coming into Kensal Green, changing for underground services towards Elephant and Castle. Dude, that's kind of a screenshot, anyway. Very nice screenshot. The 
lighting is just perfect on the train, so it makes it all bright and all that, which is really nice to see. Wonder if we'll see some Bakerloo lines stuck as well, hopefully. But it is a really early morning service, so... Might not see any. Next station is Queen's Park. Please change here for services towards Elephant Castle as it is your last op opportunity to. As the all ground services go towards London Euston, whereas underground services will go deep into the tunnel towards Kilburn Park and Elephant Castle. You can download this scenario from the Adam Thompson website if you wish to play it. All you need is the West Coast Mainline route and of course 378. And if you want an AI for this scenario, then obviously you need to own those trains as well. So, oh well. It's kind of a nice screenshot. So, got the big blue lines on platform three and four. No, oh, sorry, two and three. We're on platform one, and I've got a service to Watford Junction on platform four. I should say Watford Junction. Yes, it does. Now the train will depart. <laughs> Got a shed here for the underground stock, which terminates here. between the train and the platform. Once again, I've broken a bit too late, so this is one way to break to make the train slow down a bit faster because I kind of feel that emergency brake is kind of required with the strain because you would think the strain would have better brakes. Fortunately, we're not seeing any uh, natural rail services, which is a bit disappointing to be fair. Hopefully, we'll see some at London Euston. Otherwise, yeah, there are some services at London Euston. Unfortunately, they're all at London Euston and none of them are kind of departing there, so. Yeah, they literally just stood at the London Houston waiting for the departure time. So, anyways, we are ready to go. Next station is 
South Hampstead. Got to reach that 6.13, so let's get a move on. South Hampstead, our penultimate stop on the journey. I didn't want to be late either, so sometimes you just need to use the emergency brake, which is absolutely fine. Take a nice screenshot here. Really, really nice. And this train is ready to depart. Please mind the doors. The next station is London Euston. Our arrival time is at 6.20, so we still got like six minutes to arrive there, so. We'll probably get held up a bit. Hopefully not. dedicated for London Underground services as it's only a service every like 15 minutes anyway so I doubt there's more than one platform dedicated for the overrun services and I travel to use it all the time anyway so 
and the all gun service always comes on the same platform anyway, so. And as you can see, we can see an all gun service. So we are, we should be good to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, arrive at Houston now because train that Houston has departed. So that train will be going to Watford Junction. shortly be arriving at London News and changing for National Rail Services, Nova Line and Victoria Line. This is London Euston, your final stop on the journey. Thank you for travelling on London All Ground. Terminates at Houston. Now I normally take get the train, uh, the little officer railway service that arrives on platform eight. So I always see the all ground service on the platform next to us. And normally on platform ten is like the service that goes from Houston to uh, Trink. Houston, but it is only 6 19 in the morning, so that will get a lot busier once this gets peak time. So we've got a 350 there. And then Houston, your final destination. All change, all change. Nice screenshot there. Got a beautiful 350 here. So my train would come on this platform. I know that I travel right to the back of the train, so not quite have a long walk. Now is there any other trains here? Yeah, it's not much AI to be fair, so I would have liked a bit more AI if he did make another scenario on this route, but overall a pretty enjoyable scenario. And I am always a fan of short scenarios, so this has been fun. Good job driver, now the driver will take the train up to the junction, thank you very much. So, 6 out of 6 targets complete, we did not speed in the scenario which is pretty good. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one, if you did. Give it a like, share with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.